Ty, I hope I'm recording. I believe so. Uh, this is what you sent me. Somehow you nearly finished the assignment with 75 there instead of 65. I think I've got this rigged about like you have yours. I would rotate these two circles and this line, your initial spoke for guidance, uh, rotate those three objects 10 degrees. You'll have to move the crosshair, the red center marks, and redo the two arcs. But uh, hopefully with the uh, new dimensioning that AutoCAD has your 90, 90 unit dimension here and your 56 unit dimension here will, will ride. And uh, the, the three, you know, these two will, will ride. Let me show you, we'll rotate. Select these three objects, the two circles and the uh, spoke, hit enter. Pick the center of the spokes as the um, base point. Type 10 to go 10 degrees counterclockwise. Now notice the all the dimensions. Okay, I might have to connect this dimension. Um, anyway, uh, we just got some cleanup work here. Uh, furthermore, we can move this over. And uh, I prefer to use a NEA enter near O snap so we don't have an overlap or don't have a gap between there. I'll have to fix this by grip editing, something like that. Anyway, you got to move the two red marks, uh, grab them by the midpoint, and slide them over to the center. Now, hopefully, these two dimensions. That and the 180, whoops, 180 already disappeared. Not sure why that, that, that happens. Anyway, let's erase both of these arc of fillets and redraw them again. Uh, 90 for the first fillet radius. Enter to launch the fillet command again. R, enter to invoke the radius option. 180 just to uh, set the fillet radius setting, enter, and then select. I'll have to extend this guy back out again. But, uh, yeah, the 90 stayed. Getting back to these dimensions, let's move this grip point back to uh, the center of the circle. I'll have to grip edit these dimensions so that there's a nice, neat space between all dimensions. And dimension this guy, fill it, R, enter, 180, enter. And, whoop. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to dimension that, not draw it. The radius. And it looks like I got the wrong dimension style current, always something. So we'll match props and put it, get it so the dimension property will be the same. It's a little bit far out. Far out. So we'll slide it in. And I think we're good to go. Double check everything is. Okay, these two. Not sure why those two spokes are off, but I believe they slid away. So that's about it. Rotate the two circles in the spoke. 10 degrees and then clean up. Hope this helps. I'll put it to YouTube. Catch you later. Bye.